In this video, we're going to cover a specific part of the DA100 exam, prepare the data, specifically how to profile your data. We're going to cover some basic tools that you can use to interrogate your data. So using some tools in Power Query to check things like your column statistics, distribution and profile, all of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fanana and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where I focus on teaching beginners the wonderful world that is Power BI. I upload new videos every week so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. When you first get data in Power BI, typically you'd want to transform this data. Maybe you'd want to remove some columns or replace some errors or empty values. And you typically do that in Power Query which gives you a lot of tools not just to clean your data but to profile it and look for anomalies. Let me show you how you can do that. So here we have an empty Power BI desktop file. Let's start by bringing in some data first of all. So let's bring in an Excel. Let's go to my desktop and I've prepared a couple of things here. So let's bring in and which has just employee data, employee information here. So now let's hit load data at the beginning. So this just brings in your data into the model itself. So when you load data for the first time and the data is not cleaned correctly, you typically get an error like this. So let's see how we can profile the data to resolve this error. So let's click view errors here, which will open the Power Query window for us. So this is the Power Query window and on the left hand side you will see the queries that you have in this data set. You'll see that in the date of birth column we are expecting a date value in this field but for some reason we have x there which is from the data that we loaded in. So let's fix that. So let's go back to the employees query that we have here. So what happened during load? So Power BI, when you first load your data, will automatically assume what the column type should be based on the first couple of hundred rows that it samples. So it only takes a sample uh, of the data and then decides if this field is a date field or is a number field or is a text field. So you see that it adds a change type, applied steps automatically, onto this query. And from this view, it looks like there's nothing wrong with the data. And that's because the column profiling is only done on the first thousand rows. If you have any problems beyond the thousand rows, you won't be able to see it with this view. In order to do that, you can actually click down here on the bottom here where it says column profiling based on top of thousand rows. You can click on that and say, click column profiling based on the entire data set. So now we don't have such a big data set, so it shouldn't be a problem. So when you click that, you'll see that the column headers change, the, the colors of them change a little bit. So let's look into those. When you hover on those colored strips on the column headers, you'll actually get a pop-up of what issues there could be. So normally, if there are no problems with the column itself, you just get a pop-up showing you um, you know, number of valid values, errors, and empty. So just some basic profiling information for that column. But you'll see that now, because we have extended that column profiling to all of the data, you'll see that it's already detecting the errors. And there are more ways for you to profile your data beyond just this strip. So if you go under view, uh, and under data preview, you'll see that you have a couple more options to profile your columns. If we take column quality, this shows the the pop-up that we normally see when you hover, except it's it's laid out to you. So it gives you how many values for each row is valid, uh, how many are errors, and how many are empty. So it basically shows the same thing that we saw earlier. If we click now the column distribution, this gives us the number of distinct and unique values in our columns. But now you will see that the date of birth column still doesn't show us the column distribution or any valid profiling view because we still have an error that we haven't sorted out. If you hover over the column, profile column quality, you'll see that on the pop-up window, you'll have an option to remove errors here, which will remove the row that we have a problem with. And now you'll see that that fixed the problem. And if we just hop over quickly to the query errors, 
This will not show any values anymore, which means that we don't have any more errors. So we can delete this one now. We don't need it anymore. Now let's go back to the queries itself. In the column distribution, it shows us that in the ID column, we have a thousand distinct values and 997 unique. And what's weird is that this column doesn't have the same amount of distinct and unique values, which tells us that this column isn't unique. So that means there are some duplicate values here, which should not be there. So let's hover over the column quality again. And in this case, you'll see that if we click over to the ellipses here, we will have more options to clean up this data. So in this case, we want to remove the duplicates, but you can also do other things here. Uh, for now, let's remove duplicates. Now you'll see that we have a same amount of distinct and unique values, which makes this column a unique column. The one last tool that you can use in this is the column profile. So let's take that, which gives you just more information, more column statistics for each of them. So if you click on name, for example, you'll see you'll have more information about this column that you can use to diagnose and profile any issues that you might find. And you'll see that as I go to different columns that have different column types, it gives you some different values here. So it gives you for a date column a min max, for an ID, it gives us more calculated columns, calculated values for numbers. And that pretty much covers how you can use Power BI, specifically Power Query, to profile your data before you load it into the data sets. I hope this video will help you for this part of the exam. If you have any questions or you think I've missed some sections that I should have covered, let me know in the comment section box below. If you like this video and you'd like me to keep making more, let me know by liking this video. It's the best way to let me know that you enjoy this type of content. Get in touch using the social media links that I included in the description box below. And thank you so much guys for watching. See you again on the next one.